What is going on everybody? I hope you're having an awesome day. My name's Lucas. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the questions that I had when I set up my first planted tank. Those are, what's the right amount of fertilizer to use? How many root taps should I use for my tank? How many per plant? How deep? And how close to the plant to bury them? Since liquid fertilizers can be so different brand to brand, I'm just going to focus on the root tabs for this video. And I do realize that everyone's tank is different and the amount of plants that you have may be different than what I have and your water chemistry might be different than mine. But I at least wanted, wanted to give someone who's maybe inexperienced or just starting out an idea of what I did in my tanks. Also, all of my aquariums are low tech. I don't have any active substrate or CO2 or very high lighting. I use the $20 shop lights from Lowe's and sand, pea gravel, lava rock, and clay pebbles as my substrate. But this is my 29 gallon aquarium and the substrate's very deep in here. It's around four inches. So root tabs have been something that I've experimented with quite a bit. Plus the majority of plants are very heavy root feeders in this tank. For the three to four biggest swords, which are 20 inches tall now, I'll usually put around three to five root tabs per plant given their size. But even when they were smaller, I'd always use about three. And since they've grown, I've upped it to four. And even recently, I've used five on this one on the far right, plus the mother plant that's in the 100, 100 gallon pond. Now, I usually put the root tabs around one and a half to two inches apart from each other and I stick them around two inches from the base of the plant around the plant in a circle and I also plant them around one and a half to two inches deep in the substrate now when it comes to plants like this bigger sword over here where I'm using five I will normally put one somewhere around the one inch mark, two around the two inch mark, and three, or two around the three inch mark, let's say. And I will do those somewhere around one to two inches out from the base of the plant. Now, if you have plants that grow by sending runners like jungle vow, dwarf sedge, or crypts over time and such, I'll usually place one to two root tabs per plant as more and more of them come in. One, only if it's the baby plant or runner that was ju that's just been sent out. Or two, once the plant has gotten larger and beginning to send out runners itself. Now these types of plants will eventually cover the entire bottom of your tank and cover the substrate, which is another way of using root tabs, which I'm gonna show here in a second, making your entire substrate nutrient rich. Now let me go ahead and grab you guys here real quick and we will go over to my 55 and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's head over here real quick. And let me get you guys in position. So in my 55 here, these, tank, these plants have already covered the bottom of the tank for the most part. And I'll put one root tab every two to three inches or so, focusing on putting them as close to the plants as I can where I can. And I do this for the entire tank so that the runners that are sent out in the future will have nutrients also once they start rooting down. Now I find doing this now I find doing it like this makes the plants grow much thicker and healthier than if I do every four to six inches like the package says. And when I go to trim the plants, they come back that much better and healthier because the food that they need is there for them where they want it at the roots for them to grow. As compared to dosing liquid fertilizers to the water column, giving the algae a chance to bloom while the plants are rebounding from the trimming. Now, if you've got water column feeding plants like moss or stems or floaters or not non-heavy root feeders, then the liquid fur would be a better option. But dosing liquid furts is a topic for a whole other video. So these two 
are these two ways are how I use root tabs depending on which plants I'm trying to grow and what I have at the time. I know it seems like it can be a lot of tabs to use or a lot of money, especially when the tabs are 10 for $10 at any of the big, bo big box stores. So I recommend going to your local fish store or even checking on Amazon for the bigger packs. You can get 40 tabs for around $20 to $25, and you can get 80 tabs for $30 to $35, depending on the price of the vendor. And that is just a way better deal than only 10 for $10. It's pretty much a ripoff of that price. So that's going to be it for today. Um, if you guys like what I'm doing and want to see more, remember to hit that like button and subscribe comment down below and thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.